Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Jamie, and I have not made a video in so long. Um, it's January, I don't know, something today, 22nd maybe? 23rd? I think my last video was in November, um, so let's chat. Uh, I don't really have anything specific I wanted to make this video about. Um, just kind of wanted to check in, say I'm still alive. Here I am. Um, things have been going really good. Been very busy with life in general. I'm um, finishing my very last semester of my graduate program, and I am in the middle of a research project that's been really awesome and exciting. Um, I'm surveying the curriculum of med schools, um, surveying transgender health, and looking at what kind of content is included in uh, medical schools, allopathic medical schools in the U.S. And uh, I just barely began surveying for that, but so far everyone I've emailed and been in contact with is really nice, really nice, really awesome. Um, that's been, people in academia are great. So I'm hoping that that will be fun and not too cumbersome as my uh, capstone thesis. The cat is over there playing with things. Um, let's see, work is still the same. Um, life in general is okay. Um, obviously, the United States is fucking on fire right now because we are in the middle of a nightmare of we elected Donald Trump. So, um, that's been a thing um we have like a group text message with like 10 of my friends in it that is like our mobilizing slash emotional support text group so uh we've been trying to kind of get active in our community and do things and support each other but also that just means sending each other lots of like puppy or cat gifts or uh Buffy quotes or things like that because man, it's been rough like waking up and getting out of bed and fighting every day has been kind of I don't know. It's kind of a lot and He's only been president for like a few days. Okay. Maybe it's not the 22nd or 23rd Maybe it's later. Maybe it's like the 24th or 25th or 26th. I Don't know what the date is today. Sorry. This is a really bad video. Um, so yeah, that's been shitty, but I feel like it's made me a lot closer to my friends and that community, um, and my city in general, you know, I mean, there's been lots of marching and demonstrating, and I've been, I feel like, really proud of my community, my school, my, my people around me in my life, I think have been working hard and that's inspiring to me too and I want to keep working hard <sighs> that's been yeah there's that uh what else is new my uh I found out that I am going to be a aunt or uncle or um I think pibbling is the word I'm going to use parent sibling um and I've never had a a niece or nephew before. Uh, this is like the first baby in my family and I'm really excited about it so I'm really excited to have a little nibbling. And then my sister found out um, she's actually having twins. So I'm going to have two nibblings and I'm so excited about that. Um, and uh, with that, uh, my partner and I have been talking about moving to Denver lately, um, to be closer to said nibblings. Um, we might be moving to Denver. I mean, we definitely were planning on moving, um, when the semester's over. I mean, my partner and I, she finishes her undergrad the same month that I finished my degree, and... So we've kind of had a plan of when we're done with school, we'd like to live not in Utah. Um, we were talking maybe like Baltimore, maybe Massachusetts, maybe Cleveland, maybe Philadelphia, maybe DC. Uh, I don't know. 
um, maybe Boston, like all those places. East Coast is where we've been talking about. But um, with the change of that information, maybe we aren't moving so far from home. Um, that would be cool. It would be really hard to have to move away from our friend base that we have here and our music and art community and the whole do-it-yourself scene. I mean, I know that exists in Denver and exists in every city, but uh, I feel like we've grown to be a pretty big part of that here, and so it's gonna suck to give that up. But I mean, no matter where we move, that would be happening. So, um, I don't know, that's just been something we've been talking about, but it's uh, we don't have any solid plans yet. And so, until then, I think we're kind of just, this is the semester that's going to kick our asses into gear, and it's just kind of school mode all the time. Um, I guess transition-wise, I'm 15 months on T, I think, something like that. I forget to do my shots almost every week. I got really bad, like, for, like, three or four weeks in a row, I just kept forgetting. Uh, not, like, consecutively that whole time. Just, I was, like, I just, my day got way off because I kept, like, going two or three days past the day I was supposed to do my shot before I remembered. Um, which is so funny because, you know, like, everyone says that and you're like, oh my god, well, I would never forget to do my shot. I'm going to be so excited to be on tea that I will never, no, and then it happens to you. Literally this, this spiel this conversation has happened to every single person on youtube i swear to god um but it's good and i, I like my body and i'm uh, getting a little stash hair here and my chin it grows actually kind of a lot of hair i've been trimming it or shaving it because it's like gets to the point where it looks gross so it's kind of cool having visible facial hair um I forget it's there. My partner does not. She hates it because it's pokey. And <laughs> I've just been like, sorry, kiss me anyways, please. Um, but it's good. Um, it's like, I don't know. I feel, I go, I feel like sometimes I go a really long time not agonizing or, um, Lamenting over trans and transition-related things. I, I feel like I haven't done that in a long time. Um, I definitely still have bad days, and I definitely... Things are still hard and confusing sometimes, but I was thinking about that a lot, of where I was at a year ago and how, how much just mm, physical, mental, emotional time and energy was being directed towards transitioning, and it's it's nice. I mean, that still happens, and there's some things that I still feel that way about, but overall, I, uh, uh, that doesn't bother me as much. Um, and it's nice to not have that part of my brain so occupied at all times. Um, I feel like I'm kind of doing other things. Um, like, being, fe feeling capable of doing other things, and that's just not taking up so much of my space and time anymore. Um, I mean, that being said, like, everything I do in my life, I feel like, still is revolving around queer and trans things. Like, that is what I want uh, my career to be in, is in LGBT health. Um, and I do have these kind of political conversations in many different aspects in my life, um, all the time, uh, but it's, it's, a uh, it's just not in a necessarily in the same negative light, I guess. Um, I have had, uh, at least three people, I'd say, in the last, like, two months approach me, um, with questions of someone they know is transitioning, or, their child is struggling with gender identity or things like that. Um, I've had quite a few people approach me and um, have been very amazing, well, have been really great about how they approach. I mean, it's people that I like and love and talk to often regularly and we have good repertoire anyway, and I don't at all mind them talking to me about these things. Um, but it just kind of has amazed me lately how 
how many people have approached me. And I know a lot of that is because I talk about these things, I'm into these things, I know a lot about these things, like, they know that I'm approachable about it. But it just, um, it makes me really happy that I get to connect or share something like that with them. Um, I don't know, I just... I really love me. I love being me. And I love being really fucking gay and queer and trans and I I think I've been doing a better job of that at my workplace lately. Um, I think I've spent so much time kind of tiptoeing and walking around on eggshells and at some point I think I felt valid enough in my identity and the way I looked and was feeling validated by the people around me in my identity. Um, and, you know, honestly, I think that existed all along. I just didn't perceive it that way, and I didn't feel that way. Um, I don't think it was their problem. I think it was mine. But I'm at a spot now where I feel like I'm just being really, like, vocal, like, very vocally, like, radical and feminist and, like, queer-friendly and things like that at work. Like, I feel like I'm being very, um, bringing my my activism more into my workplace and I think that's been a really positive thing because A, that's a large, that's a very large part of me and so I think by not expressing or kind of suppressing that side of me that I've also then been suppressing a lot of my personality or, you know, um, and so I think that's also part of it is, you know, people just know I'm a big old gay wad and that that's fine and I don't know. I do worry that some of that comes from the blanket of still being in academia, that it's a really safe space, and I wonder if I'm going to struggle with that um, as I find a new job. I don't know. That's like, there's a lot of uncertainties in moving, I think. Um, I mean, I'm an anxious person. I know that. I don't like change. And moving has all of those things. Like, that completely uproots it for just, like, any of my norms. And that will be very anxiety-inducing. But then, you know, um, the queer and trans thing on top of it is also stressful. Uh, no matter where we move to or how liberal or not they are, there's still just that unknown of going into a new work environment. And if I'm not working in academia, um, I feel like I lose some of that kind of expectations to have protection or kind of some cushion. Like, I know I can cause, I can stir the pot and cause discussion and hang what might be considered a controversial sign or something in my office in academia. I don't think, I don't know, depending on where I end up working, I might not be able to do that. Uh, or things like, um, I will probably will need to get rid of my septum piercing once I'm no longer working where I'm working, or, um, maybe my hair, my hair right now is very, um, normal, natural. Usually I feel like my hair is a little more um, edgy or queer or whatever, and so I've been trying to kind of express more of those things in my workplace and in my life now while I still have the ability to, because um, that might not always be the case, but I mean, I kind of fingers crossed, but also like I think that's the nature of I want to continue working um, with and in LGBT communities, and I know that I want to do... Mm, the health side of that is state departments and is non-profs and is a lot of other places that, like, might not be super out there, but, like, I'm hoping that won't be the case. I don't know. This is a really rambly video. Now it's been 14 minutes and I don't even know what I've talked about. Um, I think that's about it. I don't know. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope that uh, things are manageable in your lives right now. Um, I don't know. I feel like I always make a video and I'm really positive and like this in it. But like that's not always how I am in my life. I mean... I think I've really been struggling um, with seasonal depression this year, every year, but I mean this year in particular. Um, I've definitely noticed changes in my behavior and my feeling and 
wanting to just stay home a lot, um, which I think I've talked about before. I've been doing good to allow myself some push in my comfortableness, you know, um, making me do things outside of my comfort zone, but I'm also acknowledging that it's winter time and it's cold and dark outside and that makes me want to just stay inside and that's okay. And um, spending a lot of time just cuddling with my partner and my cat inside. I'm letting myself see the value. I mean, I know there's value in that, but Mm, the nature of my anxiety is very task-driven. Um, if I'm going to stay home and do nothing, or if I'm going to hang out on the couch, I feel like I have to have earned it. Um, like I feel like I have to have been busy enough or completed enough tasks earlier in the day to like deserve or to have earned a break, and I'm trying to kick that habit. I'm trying to just do the things that I want to do, because at the end of the day, I am getting my bills paid, and I am feeding myself and I am doing the dishes and wearing clean clothes to work and stuff so like I can let myself off the hook. Look at that cute cat. Say hi. Hi. Come be in this long video. Okay. I think I've taken enough of y'all's time today. Um. Anyway, thanks for listening to this long, rambly video about nothing, I guess. Um, hope you're well. If you have questions for me, ask me them. <laughs> Put them in the comments or uh, find me on social medias or whatever. It's just, all of it's just opposite of Earth. Um, yeah. And I will see you when I see ya.